Good day, grade 10s. In this module, we're learning about motion in one dimension, motion in 1D. First, we need to learn a little bit more about frames of reference. In order to describe the position of an object, you need a reference point and a set of reference directions. It is difficult to describe the position of the car because we do not have a reference point. A reference point can be any object. In this case, we will use a tree. Note that the reference point can also be referred to as the origin. The car is in front of the tree. We use the tree as our reference point and in front of as our reference direction to help us describe the position of the car. A plus sign or minus sign can be used to express the position of an object relative to the reference point. Here we use a plus sign to show that the car is in front of the tree. Now, the car is behind the tree. The tree is still our reference point, but now the reference direction is behind. We use a negative sign to show that the car is behind the tree. Let's move the car to the right of the tree. Again, the tree is our reference point, and the new reference direction is to the right of we use a plus sign to indicate that the car is to the right of the tree. Now we'll move the car to the left. We use a negative sign to express that the car is on the left side of the tree. Along with a plus or minus sign, the position of an object can be described as a distance from the origin. For example, the green post is plus 5 meters from the tree. Or, the red post is plus 15 meters from the tree. In both cases, the plus sign indicates that the green and red posts are to the right of the tree. Notice that the blue post is minus 5 meters from the tree, and the orange tree is minus 10 meters from the tree. The minus sign indicates the blue post and the orange tree are to the left of the tree. Now that we've learned about frames of reference, we can continue in our next lessons to learn more about motion in one dimension. Thank you, great teams. Have a great day.